On today's video we're going to be completing a butt weld using the TIG welding process using 85 amps on 6 mil plate using a single V prep. So what we're going to be doing is showing you the tips on how to complete this from start to finish, starting with your root run all the way to your final capping pass. Before we did that we prepped the plates using a grinder and made the plates to a knife edge. This is going to allow us to achieve penetration through our joint. We're going to be doing this by completing a keyhole dip technique and what we're looking to do is form a keyhole and then dip wire in to make sure that we're fusing both sides of the plate and getting adequate penetration on the other side of the joint. Now this part of the world comes with its own set of challenges so what you're seeing right now is called the first pass or the root run it's tricky because we've set a two mil gap up in the steel tacked it together leaving us with a gap running the entire length of the joint it's important here that we don't form a massive keyhole because that would give us excess penetration or too much reinforcement on the back side of the plate so this is where you have to exercise the skill level in TIG welding and make sure that we control that puddle the whole way down so we don't overheat it causing excess penetration so we've come to the end of that run and as we can see from the root run on the picture in front we've got good reinforcement through the joint and as we look at it from the top view we've got consistency the whole way down. So the next stage on our welding we're going to complete something known as the hot pass. What we're doing is adding reinforcement to the root run so we've turned our amps up slightly to 95 amps. The trick to this run is to not disturb the root run. As we don't want to put too much heat into the root, which would push more material through the back of the joint, causing excess penetration. Alternatively, we could cause issues like suck back, which is when the penetrated material is pulled back into the joint, which is why the hot pass run is also known as the root reinforce run. As you can see from this example, this root has been disturbed, the hot pass has gone in too hot, and it has created suck back all the way down the root. We are now moving on to the flushing run using 115 amps. We can put a bit more heat into this now, as we have the reinforced of the previous two runs so we are less likely to disturb our root run. This is the final run before we put the finishing cap on. The aim of this run is to fill the joint just below both edges. We leave the edges intact as this helps as a guide to follow when we are putting the capping run on. We are using the weave technique where we add wire to both sides as we are moving the torch from left to right and the wire always follows the weld pool. We have to dip both sides to ensure that we've got sufficient metal going into our welding pool and our dips must be consistent so we can keep our weld smooth and the welding profile flat throughout. If this has been done correctly you will have a flat profile where you can see both edges like this. Alright so now we're at the final stage capping this butt weld. As you've noticed throughout this video we've been doing this freehand all the way through. There's been no walk in the cup or no dragging. So this is why as a welder you need to learn to have a steady hand and not just rely on walking the cup when you're welding. Sometimes you can't be in the positions where you can walk the cup and you will need to do welding freehand. Again we are capping this with a weave technique and we're using 115 amps dipping on both sides of the joint following the two edges which we left intact on our flushing run. You've got to be consistent with this run as this is the run that everyone's going to see so you've got to make sure that your hand's nice and steady throughout and that you're adding the same amount of wire to the left hand side as you are the right hand side. This will create reinforcement to the top of the weld. So now it's just the job of keeping our concentration and following them lines all the way down the joint. On that note we've just wrapped up our butt welding tutorial, now let's take your skills to the next level where we are going to be using similar techniques and we're going to show you how to complete a TIG welded corner joint with 8mm plate, the video for that is on screen now. As you can see from this picture we didn't grind the scale off from either side of the plate, that's why it looks like we've got a slight bit of undercut going down the joint. Always make sure you get rid of that scale when you're welding and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs>